Hi friends, today I am going to teach you regarding the trichelemal cyst histopathology. The second name of this cyst is pilar cyst. Now before we start discussion, I request you to see the epidermoid cyst video first that was posted few days back by me on this channel. So that it will easy to understand the histopathology of trichelemal cyst. Now, there are two types of keratinous cyst. One is epidermoid cyst that we have already discussed in my previous video and the second one is trichelemal cyst. So how these keratinous cysts are formed? Uh, usually what happens that normal keratin is getting out from the body by moving towards the skin surface. But when that keratin is getting accumulated in the dermis, it will lead to formation of such type of cysts like that of trichelemal cyst. Now, which is the most common site of that trichelemal cyst? Usually developing the scalp and it is often the multiple. Now, this is very classical cyst and for the diagnosis, you have to remember only the four points. The four points are characteristic for diagnosis. So, first point is the carotinization is very dense and tight. Uh, you can able to see the very dense and tight keratin here. It is not like that of epidermoid cyst. Okay, clear. So that is the dense keratin. The second point is that the keratinization is trichelemal type. Means uh, there is a keratin, uh, there is an uneven interface between the keratinized and unkeratinized cells. So that is the trichelemal type keratinization. The most important third point is absent of the granular layer. In the epidermoid cysts, the granular layer were absent, were present. But here it is the absent. Uh, if we zoom the figure in the high power, if we see in the 40x view, you can able to see that granules are absent. Uh, here the granular layer is absent. Uh, this, uh, and all this is trichelemal type keratinization. Okay, these are the these are the four main pigments. Don't get confused with the granular layer. Okay, so third point is absent of granular layer, and the fourth point is there might be presence of focal calcification, which is usually absent in the epidermoid cyst. Here the calcification was not seen, but all other features were supportive of trichelemal cyst histopathology. Now you have to remember that uh, yes, it is the keratinous cyst. So lining epithelium is the squamous epithelium. Just remember, in every keratinous cyst, the lining epithelium is obviously the stratified squamous epithelium. So that lining is clearly seen, right? Uh, this is a squamous epithelium. Uh, this type of cyst are usually multiple and 90% develop over the scalp. The treatment is very simple. If uh, if surgeon needs, then he will simply do the excision, uh, nothing else. So that is regarding the diagnosis of the trichelemal cyst. Remember, trichelemal type keratinization, again I am summarizing. Trichelemal keratinization, absent of granular layer, there will be dense tight keratin and absent and there is a presence of focal calcification. So these are the diagnostic points. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in making this uh, diagnosis whenever you encounter such a uh, cyst. If you like my video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I am posting new video. Uh, thank you very much.